want to take you now as our team coverage continues on the shoreline. We're going to go to Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Sharon Johnson. She is live in Old Saybrook. Sharon, how is it where you are? Give us the view. Kara, um, I cannot even open my eyes right now because it is that windy. The snow is just coming very quickly. Woo! We're talking 40 to 45 mile per hour wind gusts. Right now, we are in Old Saybrook at Saybrook Point Resort. You're looking at the Connecticut River flowing into the Long Island Sound right now. Right now, photographer Nate, he is trying to hold on as best as he could because the wind conditions right here are not fantastic. And this is why they're telling people to just stay home. We're talking gusty winds, once again, 40 to 45 mile per hour winds that could bring trees down. It, it's not great out here. Um, if Nate, if you could pan over to show the water, you see that the water is quite choppy right now. Uh, the water, but you know, one thing I will say is this area was very concerned about flooding, and there has not been any flooding in Old Saybrook. There has not been any flooding in Westbrook as of this point, which is fantastic. And Nate, if you just want to make your way over to the parking lot just to show what it looks like when we're not being beat up by the wind. <laughs> Um, right now, you know, because the wind drifts, the snow drifts are so bad, we can't even really tell how much it has snowed out here, but we're looking at five to nine inches at this hour. I will say as we were heading from Westbrook to Old Saybrook, uh, the roads looked decent. The plows have done a decent job, but once again, we're not sure if the, the wind has knocked that snow o over or if the plows actually got down to the pavement. However, even though the roads look decent, it's still very dangerous to drive. Uh, down here in Westbrook, they're saying visibility is about one fourth of a mile. So stay home, absolutely stay home. And thankfully we didn't really see a lot of people out on the streets. We haven't seen people out in their cars. People are heeding that warning. Um, another update, power outages are very few down here. The closest is East Lime. Fewer than five people with their power out, which is fantastic. And here in Old Saybrook, once again, there's no flooding. They're asking people not to drive. And then there are only two restaurants open here in Old Saybrook. That's the diner and Mindy K's. Most businesses are closed. Everything is closed. You look at me, you know why. Look at me right now. <laughs> that is why everything is closed. So once again, if you have to, please do not go out on the street. Please stay home at this time. For now in Old Saybrook, Sharon Johnson, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Uh, Sharon, I can feel your cold fingers and toes like vicariously right now. I want you to go inside and get a little break from the wind. <laughs> Thank you. Great job out there. Oh, gosh. And, and say hi to Nate, too. I know it's just uh, you can just feel how that must be so bitterly cold down there by the water.